Hey guys, Tony Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we have a cigar from uh, Texas Cigar Society uh, called the uh, No Entiendo. It's made by La Fabrica. La Fabrica. So they made a bunch of like, um, kind of like a meme kind of like cigars, like the, the Butcher, the Love Child. Uh, you know, thick as thieves and no Nintendo Nintendo means I don't understand and it sounds like Nintendo so you actually have like a closer Nintendo logo here it is 6x50 and other than the wrapper everything else is on this closed right so the no Nintendo is uh, Pennsylvania broadleaf wrapper uh, and they have a Negrito binder and a filler from Prioto, Cubano, and Corojo Lejero from Undisclosed Country. So now the total price is at $9. So let's see what $9 brings us today. It smells earthy. <laughs> kind of like a, like a little bit stinky earthy, but like a, I don't know, like a butt stink. Like you recognize it, but you don't. It's a box press. Dry is okay. Ooh. Very, very leathery. Very, very leathery. And a little bit floral. A little bit floral. By the way, uh, La Fabrica is Sinestro. So, yeah, if you didn't know, Sinestro cigar made it. It's leafy. Is is leaky. Uh, the draw is okay, but it's not giving me anything. So it's leaky somewhere. Yeah, it just tastes like damp leaf. Like wet, damp leaf. A little bit, I don't know, black tea? Something like that. Some dark sharp note and 
a damp leaf, like wet. And um, I lost also a little bit of spice. Burns a little bit. A little bit of spice. A little bit woodsy tone. That's pretty much it. Yeah, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right, one third of the way through. Um, the first maybe dirty puff was horrendous. It was bad. I was trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And then the draw is really bad. But as it kind of burned in a little bit, I think I'm passing that part where it's leaking a little bit. So now it tastes better. So now I start to have a little bit more woodsiness. It's got a little bit of licorice. Uh, it's got a little bit of sweetness. It's got pepper. And it's like a really burning pepper for your nose. So if you like pepper, maybe this is for you. Um, but yeah, it is getting better. I want to be fair about this cigar. Uh, I don't the first few draws like what's wrong with this cigar it's just weird and um as as he burns into it a little bit it kind of got better it's still kind of wonky still trying but you know we'll see uh second third might be better we'll continue all right be right back all right two thirds away this cigar is pretty strong it's medium plus if not full uh it's pretty strong and it might have to do with the draw. I mean, this thing has a leaky draw. So like when you take a puff, nothing came over. Even though you feel like some, you're, you're taking the draw, but nothing come over. That's what it is for this particular one. But there is some flavor. It's woodsy. It has a little bit of, I would say, dark chocolate-ish kind of undertone. It's got pepper. And there were few puffs. Few maybe two or three puff where i taste something between a citron slash orange slash grapefruit i just cannot tell which one because it's so brief but i did taste something like that uh in here i was like oh what is that but that's like three or four draws maybe three that has that and the rest don't have it so in turn of right now Based on the construction and the uh, and the strength and the the uh, the enjoyment, no entiendo. I don't know. Uh, maybe somewhere in the seven dollar range it got to me seven seven fifty. It's too strong for this. What what this is? So I know they remade this again. Called the redox or something like that um but that one was round it's not box press so i, th I think something's wrong with this construction put for, for this particular one so last third let's finish up and we'll see if that get better all right we're back last third um i think last third is mostly strength it has a little bit of it goes back to that beginning taste kind of dull kind of strong kind of leafy and doesn't want to burn well and as i keep smoking it it kind of like you know it starts to unravel here and there um it's a cool concept uh i think it's just uh a concept that did not deliver and um with that being said i think this cigar is worth about 750 eight dollar range if anything i think closer to 750 with that model of strength that's in here um but i enjoy smoking it i enjoy put it together uh take some picture and stuff like that so it's it's in a way fun for me because uh because the theme was fun but the cigar itself under deliver i think under deliver is what i can say it's not a bad cigar i just feel like it's under deliver uh i could it could get to that nine dollar range if it was delivered a little bit better or like lower strength or something like that but right now with the with the strength with the with the trouble i have smoking it uh yeah 750 is the best i can give but nevertheless uh big thanks to uh texas cigar society uh for sending me the cigar make sure to go check out his channel his instagram uh, great guy sending me the cigar thank you very much uh it is a cigar that i have not seen uh or bought so uh it's, it's nice to be able to try something different 
uh, in different price ranges and stuff like that. So that will be it for the review. If you guys like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share the channel. And um, if you like to uh, watch the videos early or you know with some additional featured video, make sure to uh, also join the membership uh, for early access. And we also have a podcast every Sunday at 8 a.m. Uh, make sure to listen to those two. It's kind of kind of interesting here and there. And that will be it for today. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.